ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Music Lab Podcast. My name is Dog, and I am so happy to be back with you. The end of summer is here. Labor Day weekend is upon us. And what perfect time to do another bottom line on the bottom lines featuring Rock Lahoma. And so I'm in Oklahoma, in Oklahoma. Uh, not really, but my background says it. So roll with it. <laughs> so the bottom line concept, we are all about music exploration. And this is a series that we have been doing, highlighting those bands. When you look at a music fest lineup that are at the bottom in the tiniest font. Bands that should be put on your festival schedule or for you to listen at home and hopefully enjoy as much as I do. So Rocklahoma, a little history about the festival itself. Imagine surrounding a huge three-day rock festival with two Mennonite churches four miles north of Pryor, Oklahoma, and about 40 miles north of Tulsa, Oklahoma. A town of less than 10,000 people that attracts now over 100,000 for this weekend. Since 2007, this is when it all began, hard rock and heavy metal are the sounds you're going to hear over a 200-acre area where the Freedom Stage and Renegade Stage are right off West 450 Road, and the campground parties are legendary. Speaking of camping there, you are allowed to start camping last Sunday, the 27th, and the festival doesn't start until today, Thursday the 31st. I'm not sure of any music festival that allows you to camp that far uh, in advance on the grounds, but Rocklahoma does. And like I said, the campground parties, late night, all night, all day, it's a good time. So let's take a look at our three artists that we are featuring, or bands that are, um, well, that usually play <laughs> But we have a unique situation that we'll get to with one of the bands. So the first band that I want to feature is a band called Dead West. They have um, a single that they released this year called Other Side. The other two songs that I featured, uh, Die Like a Rebel and My Tennessee. And keep in mind, too, I have a Spotify playlist of all three bands and all three songs that I featured. So you get nine songs on that Rocklahoma playlist. So that will be featured in the comments. So uh, check that out as well. So you get a listen for yourself. This Phoenix, Arizona five piece with Vinny Sky leading the band as their sound covers ZZ Top, Guns N' Roses and 80s Southern Rock. They have released three EPs, including a vinyl, and they play at 1220 on Friday on the Roadhouse stage, so tomorrow, and are sure to rock the crowd with their hard-charging guitars and sing-along choruses. The next band I'm featuring, Dead Poet Society, not to be confused with the movie starring Robin Williams, Ben Affleck, and matt damon the songs i'm featuring from this band american blood get away for the weekend and low air some of the songs uh come off their last album the exclamation album that came out in 2021 four bandmates from berkeley college of music who headed to california to live out their dream 11 years ago their sound can be hard and edgy with moments of intensity, but also soft and beautiful with lead singer Jack Underkoffler, inspired by Bob Dylan and Coldplay. 30 Seconds to Mars and Royal Blood feel like they're contemporaries in sound and feel, and I really dig his voice. 
they play the Renegade stage at 1250 on Friday as well. So after you see Dead West, shoot on over and you can catch Dead Poet Society as well. And then the last band that I'm featuring, and this is the unique situation, uh, a band that is not the, well, that I featured for the bottom line series that is actually not playing the lineup or the festival. The band is called Sin with two eyes, and they've just released three singles that I'm aware of uh, that I could find on Spotify. The songs are called Back Roads, Boom, and Immune. Chicago, Illinois is home for this five piece who, despite like I said, only having three songs in their Spotify page, they are all really good and all completely different. Backroads at over six minutes long sounds a lot like Blind Melon's Change in the intro with a Tesla feel, not the electric car. Boom lets lead singer Matt Elder show off his pipes in this 2000s rocker and Immune pushes you in an 80s metal fashion. Unfortunately, they canceled their appearance at the festival this year, eight days ago, on their Facebook page, August 23rd. And I'm really hoping it wasn't a financial decision because opportunities to play major music festivals are few and far between. And like the other two, I really dig this band. So I'm hoping it was not financial issues and hopefully it was like a van or you know, somebody got sick or or something like that. Um, obviously, I don't want that to happen either, but you just hate for um, money to be a, an issue for a band not to be able to, you know, make their dream a, a reality. So with that being said, that is our three bands, ladies and gentlemen, for another edition of The Bottom Line on The Bottom Lines, Rocklahoma. And like I said, it happens this weekend. Uh, and I'd be remiss not to speak about the other bands that are playing. So headlining Friday uh, is Godsmack. We got Chevelle, Daltrey, Code Orange, Skid Row, um, Blackstone Cherry. And then Saturday, we have Limp Bizkit headlining with Bush, Theory of a Dead Man, Asking Alexandria, Guar. Uh, so that should always be fun. Uh, Atreyu, Fuel, uh, local guys from Pennsylvania. And then on Sunday, what a doubleheader, uh, Pantera and Rob Zombie. Corey Taylor's playing Ministry, um, Mammoth Wolfgang Van Halen, Buck Cherry Filter, a little bit of 90s and 2000s nostalgia there. So yeah, uh, an overall great lineup, um, in my opinion. So yeah, if you're going to the festival, uh, yeah, comment, let us know how it was. If you see those, these three bands, let us know how they were. Well, obviously see the two bands, uh, but definitely check out sin, uh, nothing against them for, um, not being able to play the lineup. So make sure to like, follow, subscribe, do all that stuff with our YouTube channel, um, our Facebook page, our Instagram page. Uh, we're almost to hundred subscribers on YouTube. So that's awesome. Thank you all so much. And uh, yeah, like always, I've been Dog. You've been great. This is the Music Lab Podcast. <laughs>